This uh, module starts a discussion about milestones in venturing and venture planning and how, what milestones are, how you think about describing them and discussing them, and then going beyond that, what makes a good milestone and what makes not just a single good milestone, but what makes a good list or collection of milestones that one would tend to include in their business plan so that people looking at the plan have a good understanding of what needs to happen in order for the venture to succeed. In this first opening uh, video, I'll just give you a brief overview of milestones and then talk about what will come in the future uh, lectures or videos that follow. So we'll talk about the overview in the beginning. First of all, the objective of this module, all of these videos, and there's six videos in all, the objective of these is to discuss how milestones fit into a venture's planning, what we are, how you make use of them. They're not just something you throw away, but they're an important piece of the uh, tool in the toolkit about developing an idea about what needs to happen in order for your business to succeed. And then how you include these in your business plan. Those are the things we'll talk about. And the idea is to understand how milestones fit into the business planning process. So over the next several videos, We'll talk about what exactly a milestone is all about, how you construct them, what they are. We'll talk about why we use milestones, what it is that they're useful for, and how others can look at us and your team together can be working in a common, focused way towards certain milestones and objectives. Then we'll talk about what makes a good milestone. How do you know a good one from a bad one? What are the certain things that are sort of add ambiguity to your business planning and which ones actually help you do a better job of planning for the future. We'll talk about what kinds of milestones you include in your complete list so you have a good overall program or plan of milestones to meet and, and, and activities to complete in order to make your business successful. And finally, we'll talk about what investors might look for as they're analyzing milestones in order to decide whether or not this business is well thought of and well, well thought out and well planned enough for them to begin to partner and put some of their resources at risk. It's also as important for partners or for potential employees to understand that they know what has to happen and how they'll know if they're succeeding. In this last video, we'll also give an example of what a list of some milestones might look like for a venture. So that's the, uh, the overview, and I look forward to continuing this discussion when we talk about next, what is a good milestone? We'll see you for that video.